Today our topic is going to see about how we are going to connect a database using JSP code. So our topic today is connecting database using JSP. So basically what is JSP? Uh, JSP stands for Java ser Java server page which help us to create dynamic content for the web page it help us to get input from the user so that can be imported in the database so what are we going to use uh, what database we are going to use is ms access ms access needs some uh, library to connect with the code that is you can access and the platform we are going to build this code is netbeans so we can move to the code now so I have already made a template I am going to just brief it out for you so the HTML tag is basically HTML tags whatever we write inside is comes under HTML tags this is the starting point and ending point we have head sorry head and slash head tags and also body and slash body what we want to give inside the what, what, what title we want to give we can give it inside the head and what all the content should be displayed it can be given in the body okay we are going to develop one form so the uh, the syntax for form is input type text text stands for what type of input we are going to get we are going to simply uh, write so that uh, type is text and we are assigning one variable for that uh, uh, input so it is csk and similarly i am creating nine fields so it is for csk it is for dd it is for mi it is for rcb it is for rr it is for kkr it is for kxp it is for rising put OS, it is for soh and at the at the end when we give a uh, when we have done our thing we have to submit it so i am here using here a submit button by writing input type is equal to submit and if i want to clear all the data i am giving another button called reset this center syntax stands for i want to make all this form to align in a center so i am giving i am giving all the content of the field inside this start and end of the center tag uh, basically when you want to develop a form this input type all and all should come under the form syntax you will have similar like head uh, form this this is the start for the form and this is the end for the form so the input that we are giving in this form should access the GSP page so you have to give like this action is equal to auction dot jsp so this this make the program to understood that the input that the user is giving should be passed to the auction dot jsp code so let us see the auction dot jsp code now so uh, jsp uh, the basic syntax for jsp is i 
angular braces percentage percentage angular braces what all the content that we write inside it comes under jsp code okay what all the content we write inside it will come under jsp code this is the basic syntax for jsp so now uh, the input that we are getting is in the form of integer means then we have to use a line called integer dot pass int request dot get parameter the variable name here uh, the variable name that i declared in the form here is for csk it is csk so i'm giving here csk like it for dd mik kr so on i giving up so uh, we have to create a statement called connection statement result set initially it all will be null so this part is the main thing of a program this class dot for name is the path where the database or the you can access can access it path so net dot you can access dot jdbc call dot you can access driver this will make the program to access you can access the jar file which i had already in my laptop and this url make us to connect to the database which is in the d colon which i created for this specific program where all the input gets stored uh, next the con is equal to driver manager dot get connection that url this make us to understand go and fetch that url and get connected to that database so now we are creating a statement that will make us to insert the data in the database that is st dot execute update insert into table one the fields then values then the variable that we declared for the form this will this will make us to insert the data into the database okay now this uh, if this tr try blocks work then there is no need for catch block suppose if there is an error occur the error will be cached by the catch block and the error will be printed so this is the auction page sorry auction.jsp page this is the auction code now when we deploy it we could able to run it so it is deploying now okay i am giving here 9 and another 5 and another one for 4 another one 6 another one 7 another one 2 another one 3 3 and 5 now i click submit all the data will be inserted in the database and we can also see the result in the next page of it which will which will show as a inserted button okay see here it is showing as inserted i can zoom it also so you can see that inserted this is an exception that uh, arise due to some uh, sql query that is not important now i'm going to show you how to insert int into the database now when i open the database which is in my d colon i can see the values which i uh, give it which i fit now so it is table one i inserted in table one so here you can see so uh, 9 5 1 2 6 4 3 5 7 this is the value i gave now so it is inserted so it is working properly this is what i want now so this is the simplest program i can explain you for jsp connection using database thank you